Greetings, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you there tonight. This is probably the first time in 23 years that I've missed one of the award celebration to really honor and acknowledge the best speakers that we have in our club and their contributions to our club and Toastmasters. But tonight I'm actually celebrating an 80th birthday with a dear friend at a surprise dinner. And since I'm the one that organized the dinner, I kind of had to show up. So tonight, I wish, like I say, I was there. And congratulations to those who have already been recognized as Table Topic Speaker of the Year and Evaluator of the Year. I have to tell you, I was quite surprised that I received the recognition as Speaker of the Year in 2018. But when I go back to my beginning days as a Toastmaster in Diablo Champagne Breakfast Club, I can tell you that I always admired and look forward to hearing some of the longtime members, more accomplished speakers in our, club, in our club. I really aspired to be as good a speaker as they were. And every week when I listened to their speeches, I listened to the words they used, I watched their presentation styles, and most importantly, I listened to the messages that they were trying to share. So for me, over the course of my Toastmaster years, I learned to practice and prepare for my speeches. And each week, while I knew I wouldn't win the best speaker of the day against some of these accomplished speakers, it did make me try harder. Call it a little inner competition for myself to be better as a speaker. And as I grew as a speaker and practiced more for my speeches and took constructive feedback, what happened was truly remarkable. And it wasn't about winning best speaker of the day for me. It was about finding my voice. And each week, I have the privilege to hear each and every one of you share your message, your words, listen to you as a speaker, because each of us does have a unique voice and a message to share in the world. So my challenge to everyone here, and for those spouses who are in attendance as well, keep showing up on Friday mornings, prepare for your speeches, practice, because you have a message that we are meant to hear. And when you do, the world will be a better place for it. Again, thank you for the Speaker of the Year Award.